Modeling the Volume of a Cone, Lesson 13.2a. A cone is a three-dimensional figure that has one vertex and one circular base. We can see here's the base, here's the vertex. Its height is the distance between the vertex and the base perpendicular. We can see from the center of the base, the height goes up to the vertex. We can see the radius, r. Now we need to be careful. The height of the cone is the length perpendicular from the base to the vertex. The slant height is the distance along the surface of the cone from the vertex to a point on the base. The slant height is longer than the height. You can see in this diagram, here's the height, here's the slant height. Now, if you look carefully, this looks like a right triangle, doesn't it? So the height would be like the leg, and the slant height would be like the hypotenuse of the right triangle. To explore the volume of a cone, we can do an experiment with a cone and a cylinder that have congruent bases and heights. Their circular bases should have the same area. For our experiment, what's needed is a bowl of rice and one cone and one cylinder that have the same base and height. What we do is we fill the cone to the top with rice and pour the rice into the cylinder. And we repeat that. We count how many cones of rice we need to fill the cylinder. So let's try it. Here I have a cylinder and a cone. They have the same base area. They're also the same height. We're going to take this cone, we're going to fill it with rice so that it's flat across the top. You can see it's flat across the top. And we're going to fill this cylinder. Now you can see that I've got a one-third mark on the cylinder right here. And look at that, it's one-third. So one coneful is one-third of that cylinder. Let's do a second one. We'll pour it in here. And it's not full yet. It told us to repeat, so let's do it again. We're going to pour one more cone full in, hopefully without spilling too much. And we filled it, and it took three cones that had the same base area and the same height as the cylinder. We found it takes three cones to fill the volume of the cylinder. That means the volume of a cone is one-third the volume of a cylinder with congruent bases and heights. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is volume is equal to base times height or volume is equal to pi r squared height. The area of the base of the cone is the same as the area of the base of the cylinder as b, or pi r squared. This means the formula for the volume of a cone is volume is equal to one-third pi r squared height. It's one-third of the cylinder's formula. Now let's talk a little bit about pyramids. A cone is constructed very much like a pyramid, a pyramid has a polygon base, and a cylinder has a circular base. Both the height of a pyramid and the height of a cone are measured from the center of its base to its vertex. Both the volume of a pyramid and the volume of a cone are found by multiplying one-third the base area and the height. We see the cylinder is just the base times the height because these come to a peak at their vertex, we don't have all that extra volume there. Now look at this diagram. We have a right cone. We have an oblique cone that's leaning. A right cone and an oblique cone with the same base areas and heights will have the same volume. We'll use the same formula to find their volume. This one's really leaning, so the height is on the outside here. You can see it's perpendicular to the base and it goes straight up to the vertex. For an oblique cone, we can't go straight up the center 
to the vertex, we could go this, from the center of the base and go perpendicular until we get to that height. That would be its height. A cone and a cylinder have congruent height and bases. The volume of the cylinder is 24 cubic meters or meters cubed. What's the volume of the cone? Well, we just learned that a cone with the same base and height of a cylinder will have one-third the volume of the cylinder. We need to find 24 cubic meters times one-third or 24 cubic meters divided by 3. We know that the cone is 8 cubic meters or meters cubed. We're finished with 13 point A. We're going to move on to B, finding the volume of a cone using a formula. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and it's very productive and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.